So there goes the Hobbit. She's off to see her dealer. Um, she's gone to get some drugs. <laughs> no, she's gone out to the pharmacy, I think. I'm not sure if she's getting my pills or if she's getting stuff for her. I don't know. Anyway, she's gone out with a armful of paperwork. Now, if you are living in France and you go to the pharmacy, you will know it is paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Anyway, that's her gone. Got some other little bits and pieces we're gonna do in today's little daily vlog. You might have noticed there's some signs out here. They've only gone and shut the bloody road, so I'm gonna send the drone up in a bit and we'll have a, a bit of a butcher's. But there's still cars coming through, so I mean, don't quite know what's going on. The lorry that dropped the signs off the other day had a massive great plastic tube on the back of it. So whether they've dropped that off up there somewhere and they're going to be putting in some drainage, I don't know. At some point this year, we are getting fibre, fibre internet. And the bloke was coming around the other day, I was chatting to him. Um, he said for six months from now, which was, I can't remember when it was, but anyway, we'll be getting fibre internet. Hopefully it won't cost us any more and it will just be a case of getting a... Well, I don't know if they get a different box or not, but uh, I don't suppose it'll be fibre from the pole to the house. That'll all just be the same wire uh, thing. But looking at their website, we could be looking at 500 meg up, uh, download and 500 upload. Now, that will be incredible. Um, not that we have any issues. We've At the moment, we're on about 38 download and 7 or 8 upload, which is sort of quick enough. For uploading onto YouTube and stuff. We don't get any buffering on Netflix or Amazon or anything like that, but uh, you know, it'd be nice to have fibre, wouldn't it?
Good bit of kit, that little washing line. It's a, a dryer for pasta. Every time the Hobbit gets it out, because I obviously bought it for her, I say, oh, that's a good bit of kit. So that's the standing joke at the moment. That's a good bit of kit. You ain't having none of that, mate. Make you fall over, that will. So if you've not had homemade fresh pasta you're missing out let me tell you that for nothing once you've had homemade you'll never have pasta bought from the shop again ever a little bit of effort making it rolling it out putting it through the machine this machine you can have spaghetti or tagliatelle oh, hang on i'm just gonna have to undo it hobbits can't undo the machine Somehow the, the, the thumb screw underneath got a bit tight. So tonight we're having spaghetti, obviously, but tonight we're having it with a pork lasagna mix. Now this is canned up. The Hobbit does a lot of canning, preserving food. So when we're a bit flush, we can, like lasagna. I made up a massive big vat of lasagna meat. Made a couple of lasagnas, a couple for the freezer. We ate one obviously that night and the rest went in jars for events like this. So normally we would have a spag bowl mix, but tonight we're mixing it up. We're having pork lasagna. So this is uh, minced pork with spicy pork sausage and other bits and pieces, herbs and spices. So that's gonna be rather tasty. Um, I'm feeling a bit better. I've just, we've just been out, as you've seen on the video with the drone and now I've come back in and I'm coughing. So <coughs> <coughs> what that's all about, who knows? Anyway, feeling a lot better today. I would say we're back up 75, 80% again. Maybe, maybe 80%. So yeah, onwards and upwards. So uh, yeah, we'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye for now. Bye.